Alrighty guys, we are back today with a quick full tour and review of a 2016 Ford Expedition EL. Now this one is the King Ranch, so it is top of the line here. Um, I think it's the most expensive as you can get because it is the EL um, and all that stuff. But we'll get started here. This is a tuxedo black exterior. Um, coming down here you have your, I believe these are 22 inch painted wheels um, with brown inserts. They're right on Hankook um, Dynapro tires. You have your polish trim throughout, and then your power running boards. Um, coming back here, this is just a refresh, it's not totally redesigned, so you do have just your um, basic ex Expedition rear end um, from 2007. But coming back here, you have your King Ranch with your 3.5 EcoBoost badge. Then down here is your um, Chrome exhaust tip and all that other stuff. So coming around here, we'll check out the sticker. Again, you're just at 70 grand here. Feel free to pause it if you wish. Up front, you do have projector HID headlights with your LED fog lights. Um, it is a pretty nice refresh here. I still probably would go for a Tahoe if I was in the market for a large SUV like this. Um, but coming in here, you're able to a fully powered driver's seat, heated and cooled brown leather seats, um, perforated and all that stuff. So we'll come on in here. So coming in, guys. Um, it's very premium, very leather smelling here. I don't, you know, it just smells good. Um, to say the least, but coming over to the door panels, it is hard touch upper door here. Um, it is soft leather in here, um, some more soft down here. Then your very nice wood for your King Ranch, power fully mirrors too. Um, so I mean, I don't think the battery is connected. Oh, there you go. But there you go. Um, you have light controls, you have automatic headlights with your fog lights. Um, leather wrapped wheels, pretty thick. It's just out of the F 150. You have some brown leather up here. Um, gauges right here. The dashboard is stitched right here, and then everything else is hard touch, um, basic F-150 stuff. I'm going to move the seat up here. I'm pretty far back. Um, but looking at it, I do believe this is just Ford's system. I don't know if it's the Sync 3. Um, yeah, it is. It's So it's very nice, updated stuff. Um, you have four-wheel high, low, automatic, and then two high there. And then you have your trailer um, module thing. Power trunk, hill descent, and traction control. You have your six-speed automatic with your power shift, and I believe this is tow mode, trailer haul, whatever. Um, dual zone climate control, heated and cooled seats. I never understood why Ford did this. I think this just looks sloppy here with the two cooled. I just wish Ford would put like the cooled seat on the inside, so you both have two on the inside here. That's just my little gripe about it. Um, I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Let me know if you do, because I'd be like, I'm not the only one. But anyways, you have your mid-range here. Um, um, auto dimming mirror, sunroof, home link, all your stuff up there. Um, your King Ranch embroidered console, very large. You have some netting in there, USB, all the goodies. And this wood does is pretty nicely grained. You can actually feel the graining in it. Um, you have a console right here, and then here's your passenger seat to give you a better look. This doesn't feel like King Ranch leather from like 10 years ago, like they'd put in the F-150s, but uh, it's probably just more of a durable material. Um, so we'll come on out of this one. We don't need to pop the hood because we've all seen the 3.5 EcoBoost, so nothing special there. So we'll unlock all the doors. So coming back to this one, coming to the rear, this one does have the captain's chairs, which I believe are standard for the King Ranch. Um, we'll flip that headrest up. So coming back here, again, you have your very nice running boards, which do power deploy. And coming back here, um, it's very nice. All your materials do follow through. I mean, not that they were the best anyways, but they do follow through. Um, you have your rear seat entertainment, which I didn't even know Ford still put this in vehicles, but um, you have your entertainment right here. You have all your jacks and stuff. This does, I believe, come out for CDs. Um, you have your duck vents back here, and nice little car out for your head here, then the light, which is very nice. Um, coming down here, you have all your controls, heated seats to stage for the rear. Um, household outlet as well as your 12 volt outlet um, armrest very nice and you have a very big pass through right here You're like it's just a great family hauler um, well, so we'll come back here you have your floor mats as well all weather um, and even for the third row the leather material is the same I would like to point that out so they do not skimp out on you there so come back here we will flip these headrests up and we'll flip this one up and once you're back here, there's really no sacrifice for the third passenger, third row passengers either. I mean, I have great legroom. Comfort is great. Um, you know, you're just sitting in the back. Um, you have ducks back here and um, cup holders. It is all hard touch back here, but, you know, 
can't have everything. But for $70,000, um, it's definitely a very nice vehicle here. Um, you have airbags in the pillars right here too. So coming back here, we will open the trunk and see how much extra room the EL actually gives you. It is power, I believe, so let's give it a second. So coming back here, you do have quite a bit more extra room. Say you do have a family of six or seven. Um, this does fold, I believe. So even doing that, you have way more room. Um, the headrest is currently not folded down so that will not go down all the way um, you have some more storage down here you have a subwoofer and um, shelf divider I don't know for like wet storage yeah then power trunk will close and uh, I'd like to point out this is one of the few SUVs that still has flip up glass so that's pretty neat so I think that's about it for this tour here guys as usual thank you for watching and we will talk to you all later